Welcome to the Marxist Leninist Report. We today we got this article from Russia today. This it says Ukraine's drone attacks on Crimea Moscow thwarted. MOD. Uh, this is from September 17, 2023, so from today. A dozen of Kiev strikes have been foiled over the past 24 hours, the Russian Defense Ministry has said. And you got these uh, co internet communists arguing that uh, Ukraine is not the fascist, that Russia is the fascist. This is just proof that Ukraine is fascist. They're performing drone attacks on their own people. And, uh, and, um, uh, on top of all the other stuff that hey, they have been doing. So let's uh, continue. Kiev's troops sought to launch about a dozen drone strikes targeting various Russian regions. The defense ministry said in a statement on Sunday, adding that all the attacks were successfully prevented by the nation's air defenses. Crimea has emerged as the most targeted region in Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle strike attempts over the past 24 hours. According to the ministry, in the early hours on Sunday, a total of four Ukrainian UAVs were intercepted over the peninsula. The statement said, on Sunday evening, Kiev's forces launched three more drones and two attacks in about an hour, it said, adding that all of them were shot down. Moscow also faced two Ukrainian drone attacks in the night on Sunday and in the early morning. The Russian military have said, adding that both UAVs were downed over the western and southeastern parts of the Moscow region and failed to reach the Russian capital. And I don't, I don't believe anyone has any say if they don't know the history between Ukraine and Russia. Because in 2014, you had the coup, the United States coup, where they put the fascist Zelensky in power. And you've also got all the uh, Azov Battalion and the neo-Nazis in, in the Ukrainian military. And, there, and these liberals that masquerade as communists uh, just uh, twist things because a CNN article said so to say that uh, Ukrainians not fascist, there's no Nazis and all this crap. But uh, if you're a true communist, you're not going to trust CNN or the mainstream media. These are literally corporations telling us a bunch of bull crap to peddle a war to, to help the military industrial contractors, the military industrial complex, and the military contractors. Let's continue. Russia's Belgorod and Varanez, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, region also saw one attempted Ukrainian drone attack each over the past 24 hours, the defense ministry stated. Each of these attacks involved just one Ukrainian UAV, it said, adding that the drones were successfully intercepted in both cases. The Belgorod region borders Ukraine's Kharkov region in the south, and the Voronezh region is located next to the Lugansk People's Republic that joined Russia in autumn 2022 together with three other former Ukrainian territories following, following a series of referendums. The Ukrainian forces have repeatedly targeted various Russian regions, including its capital, with its drone attacks over the past months. Both MOF UAVs ended up either being shot down or crashing due to signal damaging, jamming. The Sunday attacks were just a day after another series of attempted drone strikes by Kiev on Saturday. The attacks prompted a brief shutdown of Moscow's three main airports, Domodedovo, Sheremetyevo, and Vnukovo, although none of the Ukrainian drones reached the Russian capital at that time, according to the defense military. But we've also got to talk about uh, the fact that 
they are running out of men. I saw this in a Jackson Hinkle video, not really endorsing Jackson Hinkle due to his cultural war nonsense and the attack attacks he puts on the LGBT plus community, but um, uh, it's there's been proof that the uh, all about all the soldiers that are men in the Ukrainian military are dead. They're having women with uh, these degrees coming in there to take their place, and then they're also forcing extraditing people from like Ireland that ha escaped Ukraine during the uh, liberation, uh, uh, liberation whatever that Russia enacted on Ukraine. So we'll see uh, how this develops coming up. Thank you for watching. This has been the Marxist on this report.